Dit is Baruch TV. En dit keer zijn we op Baruch Open Air. We spreken met niemand minder dan Barney Greenway van Napalm Death. Yeah, the, the Baruch for me was always a great place of uh, DIY kind of independent sort of approach to things, which is where Napalm Death comes from. Actually, Napalm Death came from the punk scene, you know what I mean? It didn't come from the metal scene originally. So we appreciate that ethos, you know. So, yeah, I love, I love to support the Baruch. It was always good for us. I always liked the, the, the kind of collective spirit of the Baruch. So it's, it's, it's great for us to be doing the open air version, right. definitely. You know? But yeah, the, the kind of collective feeling of achieving things without, you know, corporate help Yeah, regulation. Yeah, or help even, you know, so, yeah, it's important. You know? Getting in a van, driving the van, and getting out at the other end, you know. It's like a delivery job, you know, delivering people to places, yeah. you know what I mean? I still drive the vans, you know, for, for the band. Uh, well, I don't know, I spent You know, it's, it's, I'll get in, I enjoy it. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it, it don't take anything for granted, you know, so it feels surreal in the sense that, I mean, Napalm's fucking noise, you know what I mean? That's what it is. It's pretty much close to white noise. And to think that people, it's been 30 plus years and people um, support the band still constantly, consistently, when it's so fucking noisy. It's quite absurd in many respects, yeah. but it's good, of course, you know what I mean? So, I, um, you know, I've, I, I've been in the band 32 or 33 years now, so it's, uh, it's important to me, it's part of my life, you know, it's a huge part of my life. I do know about Rotterdam in the sense that I I like to think I study the world basically, so, you know, I know Rotterdam is a port city, you know, I know the things that come with that, um, so, but yeah, you know, it's, uh, it's a good place, like anywhere is really, you know, it has its different appeals, you yeah. know. Um, I mean, really, what is a metal person? What is a punk rocker? It's so many different things to so many different people. If you want to characterise yourself as something, that's absolutely fine, you know. But but I think when people um, um, when people um, um, become so rigid about being that one thing, I think it detracts from the, the experience of, of life sometimes, you know. Um, you know, I, I, it's like people, when we do interviews or whatever, speak to people. Some people will talk about, oh, you're a metal band, you know, or you're a metal person. It's like, well, in some respects to some people, yes, but certainly Napalm's a lot, about a lot more than that, you know. And me as a person, I don't class myself as anything. I'm just me, do you know what I mean? I've got, I've got an interest in many different things. But as a person, I'm me, yeah. for whatever that means yeah. to me or to other people, actually. So that's all. That's really all that matters. I mean, that's the thing. It's you know, band life is very exciting in the sense that you get watch out, in yeah, the, yeah. the sense that you get to travel and you see many different things. But you know, the other side of that coin is that it can be very ordinary sometimes, and that's not a bad thing. You know, that's that's all right. Life isn't all fireworks and you know it isn't you know it's well I mean ordinary things you know we we turn up you know we look at what we got to do for the day you yeah. know we eat yeah. you know we we get ready and we go you know um, I identify with the ideas the same me as a person I've changed of course I have you know, people change, and that's that's a good thing actually, because life, life, life is a, probably a lot less interesting if it's just one uniform experience. You know, it can, if it's many things, then it's going to be more interesting. And like, it's a comparatively short time on the on the earth. 
you know, and I personally believe there's nothing after this. You just go back to the earth, do you know what I mean? That's it. No afterlife, no nothing, you know. I personally believe. So so in that case, I'm gonna kind of make the best of it while I'm here, you know. And I am doing that because I'm playing with a band that was my favourite band before I joined. And uh, and uh, you know, I'm hopefully carrying on um, carrying it forward in a in a good way. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Hopefully, you know. Yeah. You know, I, I, this is probably sounds like a cliche at this point, but I'm just a regular person like everybody else. I just happen to do something that people like, or we do, we do. Um, and uh, I do my best, and that's it. Mm. You know, if people like it, they like it. If they don't, they don't. You know what I mean? That's just it. I don't go out of my way to, to, to choreograph or make it look something that it isn't, you know? Yeah. I just do my best. Yeah. And that, that's really it, you know? I don't consider myself to be elevated beyond any other person. I, I could care less about that stuff, you know what I mean? So, um, so yeah, that's, that's yeah. it really. For as long as Napalm Death is, or I'm in Napalm Death, that's, that's the way it is, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's easier that way, actually. Life is easier to be just, you know, go along with everybody else, you know, mm. and it's, it's not too complicated.